Australia's treasurer said on Wednesday that the country will always keep its national interests ahead of economic interests in its troubled relationship with China. Australia emphasized that China remains a very important economic partner despite bilateral disputes that had disrupted tens of billions of dollars in trade in the Australian commodities. Definitely uh, living um, with a different China than we've seen uh, in years prior. And the, the China under Xi Jinping is very different to the China uh, that Scott Morrison is dealing with, is very different to the China under Hu Jintao uh, that, uh, uh, that John Howard dealt with. Um, I remember well, I think it was in October 2003, when in the Australian Parliament, just 150 metres from here, we had in successive days, Mark, you'll remember it well, the President of the United States and um, the, uh, the President of China. Um, and gone are those days. There's a lot more strategic competition in the world. And China has been a lot more uh, assertive in not just its diplomacy, uh, but also in its other positions. We have seen across a range of issues um, the consequences of that assertiveness. And the federal government, the coalition government, under Prime Minister Morrison, under his predecessor Malcolm Turnbull and before that Tony Abbott and John Howard, has consistently stood up for the national interest. All of that being said, China remains a very important economic partner for Australia. They've made no secrets of the fact that some of our exports are not making its way to China. Barley, wine, coal. But what is making its way to China, because they need it most, is our iron ore. And the price of iron ore is at near record highs. Uh, and that is providing you know, significant uh, revenue into our economy, both at a state and a federal level. But we will not put economic interests first. We will put the broader national interest first. And that means standing up with a very clear and consistent sense of where our national interest is.